Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of EchoCraft. And we're flying over our base where in the last episode we built this building right here. It is the flying squid. Oh, that was a bit of a lag spike, wasn't it? And I realized after I finished the video that I never showed you all the completed project and hi Steve. <laughs> I'll explain that in a second. Um <laughs> I never showed you guys the completed map art. <laughs> I did the time lapse and just kind of said, oh, that's it. Here's why I wanted it. <laughs> we needed it for a floor mat that goes down into the lower section of our build. And you see we got three sets of them there. And this was actually inspired by a restaurant that I went to. And uh, I, was, I was going out camping and they had a kind of a restaurant there at the campground went down they had these formats and it's like you know what? i want to do that in minecraft as well didn't realize it was going to take so long to do but hey that's that's part of life die thank you go away yes i need to spawn proof that but i've been very busy in between episodes as i had um, promised at the end of the last episode and i got the wall built in between where the guild ends and the next section begins I've uh, chopped down an entire forest and just to make room for the next section of the base <laughs> but that is going to be part of the next episode so something to look forward to also between the episodes we came over here and terraformed all this so I was already in the process of converting this to the amethyst blocks and putting the clusters in but I decided to go ahead and add the waterfall in as well. So I'm going to add in now next to the image of the screen here. I'm going to show you guys what this looked like before and what it looks like now from this point right here. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It's, it's one of my favorite things about this build. I catch myself just kind of standing there looking around. But we have some stuff to get back busy with today we've got a lot of work here at the base and of course i need to explain what's going on with steve there kind of staring at us from inside the hotel room so i'm going to go over to the shopping district so we can explain that back in the shopping district here and you can see i'm standing in front of a grinning skull <laughs> halloween is in the air ladies and gentlemen and on the echo craft server that means shenanigans are afoot and I need to sleep with the minecraft movie coming out here within the i think the next year pizza i'll link his video down below he built a map art of steve and he has hidden a bunch of them i think there's like 200 is what he said hidden around the server and he wants us to go and try to find as many of them as possible to earn a prize so obviously we're, we're doing content we're, we're going to do this for the content. So, <laughs> let's see. Knowing the way that I produce videos, this is probably going to be a single episode anyway. So, probably by the end of this video, it will be the end of October. Or close to it. So, we're going to go ahead and sign up for this. As a matter of fact, I've spotted a couple as, in addition to the one that I saw on the base. So, we're going to go ahead and sign up for this. And it's going to look like this. And I will come back maybe periodically throughout this episode maybe if this stretches into more than one episode i'll come back and update you as we go now it does say that we need to claim a spot on the page and to step on the pressure plate at the back of the skull for our helmet i'm, I'm not gonna lie this makes me a little bit nervous because we've well <laughs> let's face it we're all fans of hermitcraft it would not be the first time that we saw someone get a curse of binding on their head <laughs> <laughs> and it is ah! pizza why did you do this <laughs> we're, well we're the first to sign up so i guess we're now pizza face or pumpkin face whatever <laughs> so the bright side is you guys will know when i die <laughs> so the, the even better news is it's been longer and longer here lately for me to die. And why do I have a random redstone torch? I hope I didn't break anything. I'll, I'll message pizza and make sure. 
But we're going to get back and try to find some of the Steves. Wow. Never thought I would say that in a video. <laughs> We've got a bit of work that we need to get done here. And part of what I'm going to be doing is going to be armor stands and interior work. But if you notice, there's also a bunch of oak logs that's just kind of sprinkled around the property. And the reason for that is because, well, I'm hoping to be able to make this look a little bit more lifelike. Because let's face it, right now it just kind of looks a little bit boring. You got the buildings, and that's pretty much it. it. It looks dead. And I want this place to come to life. So I am going to go ahead and start trying to bring this place to life. Not just with the armor stand magic, but by building us some custom trees and do a bit of terraforming and just kind of get some shrubbery and stuff like that. Make it feel like it's an actual place and not just some buildings that have been plopped down in the middle of nowhere. So without any further ado... We are going to get going at lightning, ow, lightning speed. End of lightning speed mode, and you may have noticed that during the time lapse there, I uh, I wasn't really wearing my helmet. I was well, I was wearing a helmet, not the not the pumpkin head. And the reason for that is because well, I kind of died. <laughs> Me and Pizza were streaming, and well, yeah, uh, this this right here happened. Although I need that, I I should test. We should test first. I um, should not have just activated that. And we are not ominous. We're ominous now? We're not ominous. Oh, well that's fine. Um, we should we should test to see if some of the vaults actually uh -oh. work or not. Baby husk. Can actually... I'm coming. Yep. Gonna need it. I'm about to die. Ah, and I... oh. Well, there goes the pumpkin. And I'm back at spawn. <laughs> no, not the pumpkin! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that stream was a lot of fun, honestly. We were just hanging out, raiding some trial chambers because I needed to get a mace, actually, for the, one of the armor stands in here. This guy right here, as a matter of fact, as I'm kind of walking backwards trying to steer, I wanted to get this, uh, metal worker, this 
Blacksmith, thank you. That's what I'm looking for. English is hard. <laughs> I wanted to get this blacksmith, the hammer, the mace, to be able to actually be hitting things with it. Instead of trying to turn a hoe around and make it work, it's like, hey, you know, a mace is in the game. It kind of looks like a blacksmith's hammer. We're going to do that. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of stuff on streams. As far as the armor stands, go over, check it out. Give me a follow if you don't already have one. It's uh, twitch.tv. Yeah, twitch.tv slash weaselstormgaming. I'll put a link down in the description. I'll put pizzas down there as well. We're kind of doing some streams and stuff together a little bit here and there. But we need to get some work done in this building right here. We need to get the flying squid done. And we're going to start out down here in the tavern. So let's just kind of wander inside there. So we're down here in the tavern. And it's kind of just an empty shell at the moment. I mean, we've got doors on the divider between the kitchen and the actual restaurant area. But we needed some chairs and needed some food and stuff in here. So what we're going to do is we are just going to kind of snap our fingers here. And the whole thing is just going to appear before our faces. You know, I think I might have snapped just a little bit too hard. I may have been channeling my inner Thanos. Because I only meant to do in here. But, um, <laughs> well, the kitchen's done too. And I'm almost afraid to... Uh-oh. Uh, hmm... Uh, yep, 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 yep. The whole interior got snapped in. <laughs> well, okay, well, let's take a look around down here first. <laughs> Since this is where we meant to go, <laughs> we can see that all the seats are in place. Hey, commit to the bit, right? <laughs> the seats are committed. Oh, geez, I can't talk now. The seats are in place, and there's plenty of room. You notice there's kind of some armor stands that's dotted around the room here. And while I do have plans for some of them, I don't have plans for all of them. And honestly, I kind of need you guys' help with filling the rest of these armor stands. So if you play Java Minecraft and you'd like to be a part of my Minecraft base here, then turn your subscription to visible, subscribe to the channel, and put your username down below, and I will take your head, put on my skin, and I will be able to get my player head to do it that way. Now, if it's something that's not family friendly, then, of course, that's not going to work. So I do reserve the right to not use your skin for some reason. And it's only going to be a couple per video. But I will shout out the ones that are able to get their stand on here. You'll get to see it. It will be at the end of each video. So as far as the next few videos go, anyway. So we will do that, and we've got more armor stands up here as well. As a matter of fact, they're going to be just kind of dotted throughout the rest of the base. So, again, help me out. Subscribe, drop that down below, and you might have a chance at being in my Minecraft base. Now, you might look and say, okay, well, Weasel, what is going on up here? The food downstairs, all of that's kind of self-explanatory, but what's all this? So, this is the lounge of the tavern, the Flying Squid. So, that couch is kind of unoccupied at the moment. We've got a couple people sitting here kind of enjoying the fire. And this is for future use. If you've ever watched the Hermitcraft series, especially Season 7 and I think Season 9 was the other one, they do kind of something called Stats Poker. And at some point, hopefully we'll get to play that with some of the other Echoes. And see how we stack up against them. But speaking of other echoes, I think it's time to kind of do an update on how... <laughs> there's my chest monster from the interior. On how Hallow Steve is coming along. And we're back in the shopping district right next to the Grinning Skull. Let's see how many Steves everyone's got. Uh, let's see. 198, 200. Okay, so we're not in the lead anymore. But the good news is I've got five Steves right here. So that's going to put us back into the lead. And the 5, 198, 203. So we're in the lead by three, which is really good because, quite frankly, I uh, when I was doing that last little bit, I went all around the server and I'm, I can't find any more <laughs> They're really well hidden now. 
there's just a handful of them left, so, uh, yeah, but there's one thing left to do in this video, and that's something that I said I was going to do it back in episode two, and I didn't get the chance to do it, and that's going to be to go into here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, and bonus footage is going to be me going through this haunted house. So thank you for watching, and remember that there is a storm coming. Weasel Storm! You? Ooh. Okay. Please read the book before entering into the mansion. Welcome to the haunted house. Please read this book thoroughly before entering. Deposit all your items into the barrel. Set your spawn. You will lose your items. Okay. So I'm probably going to end up losing... I, I guess I can kill myself real quick that way. I can... Get the uh, pumpkin head off. Uh, it's supposed to be a scary experience, but most of it really isn't. And for only one person to go through at a time, for the sake of some traps being surprises and actually working, this is a tracked ride. For the sake of the experience, I recommend taking your hand off the keyboard. Okay. Uh, you should keep your hand on the mouse. Still need to look around. Do not exit the ride. You will know what it is. As the minecart will be destroyed and you'll be ejected. Okay. So maybe I won't die in there? I have playing with shaders. I'm not, so that's not a problem. Moody brightness is best. Most of all, have fun. Okay. Enjoy your time in the afterlife. Great. Let's set the spawn. Let's take all of our gear off. And I think I am going to go ahead and go... Oh, my lighter's about dead. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the pumpkin in there just to be safe. So, let's see. Where can I get up high that I can... Oh, great. I'm stuck on the cobweb. <laughs> I hate these things. Okay. Um, where can I get up high that I can kind of jump off and take this pumpkin off? Well, that's going to take a second, but I guess that works. How many falls is... Oh, I'm a regeneration beacon. That's never going to work. <laughs> that will work, though. Mr. Al, how many burns does it take to get burnt to death? Let's see, shall we? A one, a two, a three, crunch. The world may never know. Uh, <laughs> and I just showed my age, I think. Okay. Let's go pick up that pumpkin real quick. Where was it at? I gotta find it now. Because we definitely do not want it to de on because we're gonna put it back on um pumpkin where'd you go oh uh, let's see i was trying to jump off over here i guess i could have walked into a prickly bush too i'm sure was that um hitboxes that's a chicken i know i was on a campfire right there's where i was trying to jump off uh-oh, I may have lost a pumpkin head. And we're in spawn chunks, so... Okay, there it is. Oh, right in front of me. That is about typical, truthfully. <laughs> okay. So let's stick this in the chest over here at the haunted house. As soon as we find it again. Admittedly, this is the one building that I can always lose in the shopping district. It doesn't matter what it is or why. I just lose it. Okay. Now we're finally ready to go in. Uh, minecarts. Yes, I will need a minecart. Probably supposed to be back here. Uh-oh. Nope. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, the, then you get in. Okay. I'm going to take my hand off the keyboard. And away we go. Oh, great. <laughs> I, I never went on a haunted house ride as a kid so this is rabbit the out it's very scary okay um <laughs> and it, it's probably showing a little bit because um that's a little bit worrisome I was afraid that it was going to shoot something at me uh, <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
<laughs> I like the Enderman sounds there in the background. Probably a note block somewhere with a head, it's my guess. Pizza's really good with redstone. And a warden. I swear, if an actual warden drops down in front of me. Okay. <laughs> oh! Okay. Hi. Okay. Is, I guess... Yeah. Fall down here. Okay. Yeah, into the... Oh, great. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna die now. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice pizza. I, I do like that. Very good, sir. 